Hey, welcome, Facebookers out there in the world. Um, thanks for tuning in on this uh, chilly Thursday, March 11th afternoon. Uh, it's chilly here in Nod. Uh, I'm Mark Sevenoff, and this is Sean Hayes. And uh, we're going to uh, entertain you for the next uh, 20, 30 minutes here. Um, so I'm Mark, my wife and I, uh, my wife Ashley Kornblatt and myself are the owners of Western Spirit. We've been uh, doing this here in Mod for 25 years or so, but the company's just celebrated our 30th uh, anniversary last year. Um, and I'm originally from Windsor, Connecticut, and I've uh, been living out here in Mod for uh, 20 plus years. And um, uh, Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're yeah. from, and how'd you get here? Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us here uh, at the uh, beautiful Maze Overlook uh, in Canyonlands National Park. Just kidding. Uh, we're here at the headquarters in Mount Utah. Um, my name is Sean, and I am originally from uh, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. And so I made it out here to the desert and, uh, and, and have been guiding for and working for Western Spirit Cycling uh, for a handful of years. Um, I kind of made it out here uh, with a passion for riding bikes, and um, guiding has kind of transitioned to um, a winter role working in the office with Mark and our awesome staff here, uh, getting you guys on the best trips um, uh, we have to offer in the West. And um, uh, Mark, tell us a little bit about what we have going on. We started, yeah, yeah, we started this is this a live situation. First in this series. Uh, we hope to do it every couple of weeks. It's, yeah. you know, we, uh, we were calling it Thursday, Thirsty Thursdays because, um, you know, we had this tradition of just it's maybe Thursday. starting early on Thursdays with, with, the, with the staff or the guides. Um, but it's really an Ask a Guide series. So um, Sean and I are both... Uh, both guides, and in a couple of weeks we'll have a couple others. Um, right now it's still off season for about another 48 hours here, um, but our first trips kick off um, this Sunday in the maze right there. And so uh, we're super excited yep. and it's kind of like that first uh, week back at college, well, if happening. anyone can remember that, um, when, when all the guides come back to the, um, to HQ here and catch up on stories and who skied the deepest snow or or who had the best winter or just catching up and see seeing how everyone was since we last saw them. Uh, much of our uh, guiding staff works in the ski industry, so they're ski or snowboard yeah. uh, instructors or patrollers, um, or maybe they go south and and do some other stuff um, or all over the world. Probably less so this year um, because of the pandemic pandemic, which does bring me to um, a quick little uh, note I want to make. Both uh, Sean and I have been vaccinated. Yes, we're super thankful um, being first responders. Um, we were lucky enough to get uh, on board with that, and Utah has done a, actually a very good job um, with that. So yeah, this uh, series will be every Thursday, and uh, this one is... Uh, yeah, hopefully we get to feature some of our other guides. It yeah. won't just be Mark and I all the time. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have some cameos, and yeah. it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. And yeah. So um, keep an eye out for these uh, Thursday afternoons. We'll try and get some some new faces to you. Um, but I think this this afternoon we're gonna talk about um, what is a Western Spirit trip. What's it look like? Um, what do you want to bring? Do's don'ts. Where do we go? And uh, I'll let Mark kind of give you the skinny on uh on what a typical backcountry mountain bike trip looks like all right cool well um yeah it's uh what is a bike trip you know is it uh, everybody's familiar with a ski trip you go to a area for a week uh maybe stay in a condo or in a house and you ski every day and and you have big meals in between um a bike trip's not that different but you know one thing it's not it's not bike packing so we have a big truck that carries all the gear custom fleet of f 350 Super Duties, uh, Dualies, they can carry enough gear for 20 people for seven days, you know. Um, one thing that makes Western Spirit super unique is that all we do is multi-day. So we've kind of, you know, we, we've we mastered that. We have a lot of great competitors here in Moab and around the world that 
uh, have a, we have a lot of similarities, but uh, one thing we don't do is shuttles or day tours. Um, but we we do uh, four, five, and six day trips mostly, right? So the easiest way to uh, categorize a bike, one of our bike trips, uh, is kind of the tagline that truck carries all the gear and the guides do all the cooking. Yeah, truck carries all the gear. It's better with the guide. Yeah, it's better with the guide. And and um, if you're a backcountry skier or snowboarder at all, um, a term when you go on a ski week is fully guided, fully catered. Um, some huts you go to are uh, self-catered or self-guided. Our trips are fully guided, fully catered. So um, you don't have a lot of responsibilities besides what? Eating. You got to eat. You got to <laughs> eat. Um, Riding your bike and, and maybe, you know, staying hydrated. And pitching a tent. Yeah, yeah, that is the one gotta, thing. The one tent. thing. Um, our guides are are more than happy to help you out. Yeah, if it's um, been what fifty years or <laughs> since the army, or maybe thirty years since Boy Scouts or whatever, yeah. and you our have, tents are so much easier to set up than an army tent. Yeah, and uh, and it's a ton of fun. We'll set, we'll help you set them up that first night, um, but generally the guides are really busy. Um, the, guide, um, the guides are doing the heavy lifting. 6 a.m. till till uh, till after dark sometimes you know um, so so the guys do all the cooking truck carries all the gear you have a lot of unstructured leisure time which is nice uh, you get to camp and the guys are working their buns off and you set up your tent but then what do you do you know like it might be a couple hours till dinner well unstructured leisure time can be uh, going fishing going swimming um, Taking a nap, reading a book on the edge of the Grand Canyon, um, drinking tequila on the edge of the Grand Canyon, whatever is your jam. Um, some people somehow don't get enough exercise and they go for a run or more riding. Um, I once caught like some guy doing burpees behind his tent. You know? I get it. Yeah. But, but, you know, you have training plans, whatever. Um, generally, we're in it for the funnest known time, not the fastest known time. But um, we like to ride fast too. So, um, yeah. So, Sean, tell me a little bit like what's included in these trips. What do I need to yeah. bring if I'm traveling from, you know, uh, wherever, halfway across the country? Sure. Um, what we like to do uh, here at Western Spirit is to make sure everybody gets on the, the right trip at the right time um, for you. And so, we take care of a lot of the legwork. Uh, when you're looking at going on vacation, nobody wants to be, you know, you don't want to pay, you know, too much attention or, or have to deal with the hassle of, uh, man, I need a campsite in Zion, or I can't get a campsite on the White Rim, and, mm -hmm. and Canyonlands is, is, is mm -hmm. you know, clicking on the website, it's impossible to get a spot. Um, we take care of all of that yeah. stuff. Ace takes care of that. Ace, uh, if, if, if you know who Ace, Ace is. a legend. Is. Um, if you've called Western Spirit before in the last 30 years, um, yeah, she gets it done. So we have a full, basically full-time person working on permits and campground reservations, several full, you know, several people now, which is, um, which is huge. We, yeah. We love to ride in, in our national parks. Um, we all think that visiting the parks, um, via bicycle is the best way to see it. Um, and uh, and that's just one of the perks. It's something that's included in your trip cost. What if I don't have? What what if I don't want to bring my bike? Like, do you guys rent bikes? We do. We have an awesome fleet of uh, of specialized mountain bikes. Um, nice. For our mountain bike tours, we offer a specialized stump jumper. Um, it's a twenty nine inch wheel uh, shredder trail bike. Um, stumpies are. Uh, you know, have been our go-to for a number of years um, on the trail. Only like 20, though. I mean, like 20. Yeah. We're working on like 20 years. Yeah. Uh, we now offer a, a handful of gravel-oriented trips. Um, for those trips, we have available the specialized Diverge. Yep. Your all-around gravel shredder. Um, yep. You know, put some put some meaty tires on them, and you're good to go. We. You guys. Uh, have some e-bikes e too, right? Yeah, we yeah. love e-bikes. We, we will we say do. that. 
there are trips that we have uh, the the ability to take some some uh, pedal assisted bicycles on the trail, whether it's a gravel road style tour or a single track um, yeah, yeah. a single track ride. Different areas allow it, and we have a fleet of specialized turbo Levos. You're not going to believe for, the for when that needs to happen. Charging station this guy developed over the winter. It it would. Probably power like the space station. We have a serious. It'll power your sprinter van. But like um, yeah, it's uh, these guys were it's goal zero is probably going to be out of business by next year. They'll be calling me but, after this. To but regardless, it's impressive. Um, and we only use that in places where we can't use generators. So a few of the other things that are included on the trip. Obviously, you've got your guides. Um, yeah. There are there are backbone. There are know how um, for Western Spirit. Um, if I'm coming, what do I need? What do I need to bring? You'll need to show up with some riding gear. Yeah. Um, you'll need to have uh, a really good attitude. Yeah. And be stoked. Num number one, first and foremost. Um, and um, all the you know, bring your toiletries, bring some riding clothes, bring some camp gear to stay warm. Uh, other than that, we've got you covered for the food. We've got. Um, you know, our shuttle vehicles, when it allows us to shuttle to the trailhead um, to and from the beginning of uh, start and finish to the ride. Um, and again, all the permits and the camping reservations that we'll need. Uh, and that's and that's about it. That's the skinny of uh, what's included, what's not included. We have a, a great little uh, uh, FAQ on our website. Answers all these questions for you if you want to check out westernspirit.com. Mm -hmm. Um, we love to talk about bikes. If they have any questions about the rentals, um, you know, we have an in-house mechanic who takes care of, of the bikes daily, um, after every trip. And so give us a call. We'll love to talk about bikes. Um, we talked a little bit about the food mm, and, um, food. Yeah. I'll start off this question, uh, Sevi with what is your favorite mm. camp meal? Mm. And then tell us a little bit about what to expect. What's the food like? Ooh, wow. There's so many, there's so many. My, I got my favorite. I mean, I have favorite breakfasts and dinners. You can't and, off, really. um, You know, it's hard to beat fajita night uh, just because everything that goes with it. As a guide, it's a lot of dishes to do afterwards, but yeah. it's it's worth it. Um, so food, yeah, that's one of uh, many of your guys' uh, biggest concerns sometimes. You know, like, hey, I have this weird diet or, hey, um, I eat a lot or I'm constantly hungry. Guess what? No one in 30 years has ever um, gone hungry on a Western Spirit trip. It just is in, nearly possible. impossible. That's not why possible. we get not just the 350s, but the 350 duallys is to carry all the food. Um, so, you know, we are going to give you, we're going to wake you up pretty early with the coffee call. And if you don't drink coffee, that's fine too. Because um, we'll have hot chocolate or morning thunder Sweet. or, yeah, or, or, um, Cold breakfast, if you're starving right away, followed by hot breakfast, and we're talking French toast, pancakes, eggs, and on and on and on. Fresh so, fruit salad. So, what if I wanted to come on a trip and, and I was like, um, say I was gluten intolerant? Oh, no problem. Or, or I that's, was like, I, you know, I don't eat meat anymore. Piece of cake. 20 years ago, I was vegetarians. Now, that's like small potatoes. Long story short is we can cater to any you know, dietary restrictions or diet. Um, we'll send you a whole uh, questionnaire um, uh, leading up to the trip. We want to know everything about you. It'd be like if you were going to the moon and we needed to know all everything you're allergic to or um, or just if you need, like, to drink 10 Diet Cokes a day. If that's the case, we're going to have them. We got you. Um, Sadly, we can't provide any alcoholic beverages. So in addition to like your bike, tent, sleeping bag, pad, uh, alcoholic stuff is not uh, one of the few things not included in the trip. But uh, certainly whatever you bring, we're going to keep it at just the perfect temperature for you guys and uh, make sure the bottles don't break or it's presented at the right time. Um, so our, our, our yeah. guides are... Um, you know, medically trained, whether we're EMTs or first responders, uh, all of our guides are proficient bike mechanics out on the trail, help you help mm -hmm. you do the small trail fixes, get, get you what you need. Um, and they're also really good at keeping beers cold. Yeah. And so that's, I mean, that's 
It's part of our it's guide uh, training, training every spring in industry. case like standards have changed or yeah. best practices. So they're pretty good at that, yeah. And they work hard year round at it. So they do. They, it shows. They do a great job. Um, you know, we we have an awesome office staff here, ready to answer phone calls, uh, respond to your emails. Um, can you give us some insight on like uh, uh, how do we do this? How does it go down? You call. You want to go on a trip. Yeah. Um, what what is something you can expect calling Western Spirit um, with, with an interest <laughs> yeah, absolutely. in going on a bike trip. Okay, so here's a common scenario. Um, Joe the plumber from Baltimore calls and says, hey, I heard, I saw Telluride in the, um, in the news and I'm dying to go do your Telluride to Durango trip. And we're like, awesome, when can you go? And, because that's usually our first question, do you have a specific week that you can go? Or do you have, tons of flexibility you know are you like you know just uh, working from home permanently for the rest of your life and you can have a uh, but long story short is if he if Joe says I can only go in April guess what Joe you're not going to tell your eye to ride your bike you could go snowboarding there or snowboarding or even skiing but um, uh, lots of places we go have have a kind of a perfect couple months out of the year and we want to bring you there to the during those perfect months so we'll definitely bring joe or whoever to tell your eye but it's going to be generally in june july or august because that's uh it's at nine thousand feet above sea level it's like a winter storm warning there right now and and it's going to keep snowing there uh probably right through memorial day hopefully um, so yeah, that's kind of, we start with when can you go and that opens up the where can you go because correct. Yeah, that's, that, good. that's a good way to do it. It, it. If you just click on our website, it can be a little overwhelming. I mean, we have trips from Canada to Mexico, right? And, uh, and the summer months we go to nearly every Western state. Um, and then, and then it boils down to uh, what type of rider are you? Tell us are what you, you like to ride? Yeah, we have trips all all abilities. Yeah, um, I would ask beginner to advanced, single track to gravel. Um, if you have a, a group of uh, of a handful of buddies and you want to do a road tour, you know we've been doing road tours for a long time. Yep. Um, and and we love cycling in general. Uh, that's something we love to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I will like to, to touch on one real heavy hitting question, and it's something that you know I, I hear a lot. And it's um, you're on a backcountry Western Spirit trip, where do you go to the bathroom? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a big one, and I feel like we need to address this. Yeah. Um, I, I actually love talking about this. Yeah. As a guy. This is a long topic. As as a guide, I'll try and keep it. I'll try and keep. Hold it on. Short. I want to. I want to uh, do a quick little reminder. If you are just joining us, I know some people may be tuned in a little bit late. Yeah. Um. This is Sean, and I'm Mark, and we're a couple Western Spirit guides, and this is uh, episode one of Ask a Guide. Uh, every other Thursday uh, on the Western Spirit Facebook channel. Uh, next, in, in future episodes, we'll be uh, talking about different style trips, family trips, mm -hmm. uh, gravel trips, single track trips, custom private trips, you know, and um, check our check our uh, social feeds for details on who's going to be the uh, who's going to be the person. Yeah. So keep an eye. Out. We, we're going to have some other faces. Again, yeah. Different yeah. people. It's yeah. Not be if you really want to see us, it would have to be like over oh. half a million likes or something like that. And I'm not sure that's going to happen after this first episode. So um, most likely it's going to be new new people. And um, so that million dollar question, you know, besides the what are we going to eat and what's the riding like and, and um, are there showers um, that that. People do get nervous, like, <laughs> where am I going to go to the bathroom, that's, you know? And and it, that's a common, you know, it's a, it's a, thing. It's a concern. So so tell us about, uh, right. tell us about that, um, that part of the, you know, camping. Your guides will let you know, um, you know, whether you've been on a river trip before or say, uh, you know, you're a seasoned, leave no trace, uh, master educator. Um, hmm. Both ends of the spectrum here. 
Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, your guides will, will do a good job of filling you in on where to do what you have to do. Um, but just to jump ahead, we're going to talk about this one. Um, what do we use as our backcountry toilet? And so um, not all of our trips are uh, what we refer to as a Gruber trip. Um, a lot of our camps are, you know, uh, have facilities. Yeah. Um, you know, some even have some running water. Uh, flush toilets, perhaps. Who knows? It, you know, you could hit the jackpot. Um, when we're out there in the backcountry, we are taking what's called the Gruber. And just a little backstory on it. Mm. Um, the Gruber started out as, and oddly enough, we mm. use these to hold a lot of our gear. Um, our, it came from the rocket box. Yeah, army like army rocket issue. box. Yeah, you know your standard green latch top rocket box. We, you know, these guys would have them in the trenches. You sit down to go to the bathroom on those bad boys, and you stand up. You got the grooves on the legs. Right. That's that's where right. the groove came from. That's, yeah, that's it. History. That's the backstory. But um, now modern day, 2021. Modern day, we have a real fancy, nice little, uh, you know, plastic welded box. Yeah. And it's tight sealed. It is super. Real, like like uh, real toilet seat. I mean, I want to use the word comfortable. But, Not you know, naturally heated by we, the sun. We, as guides, yeah. love the Gruber. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and each guide, you know, has their own unique way of explaining how to use it. We'll let you guys figure that out when you come on a trip. Yeah. Um, you know, just looking behind me here. Yeah, I was just is, thinking that. That's one of the, that's, you could this be. This could be the all-time Gruber spot. And, yeah. And so when we go on Maze our Overlooks. Maze, it doesn't really get much better Ken than Lands, that. Maze District trips. Looking out at the chocolate drops. You're looking at the chocolate drops while... I'll leave that there because that, that's a lot of... You know? Yeah. Um, and, and so that's kind of the skinny on uh, our, our backcountry bathroom. Yeah. It's really easy going. Um, it's nothing to be worried about. It's yeah. a ton of fun. Um, and, and, and just like talking about bikes, we love to talk about the Jeep. Yeah. And... Um... And actually, many many Forest Service campgrounds that we use or BLM campgrounds have their own facilities. Some even have showers, and and which brings up showers really quickly. Um, we always bring a uh, uh, we always bring solar showers. M many of our camps have swimming. So uh, one of our camp one of our trips, the Backcountry Hot Springs, that we've been doing for thirty years, uh, is the only trip you can leave cleaner than when you started because it has a natural hot springs at every camp. Um, That's a good time. I think there's so many thousands of people out there that would love to ride their bike four or five or six days in a row, but they are a little bit scared of camping, right? And we, before the whole like glamping term came around, like recently, glamping, we yeah. pretty much were glamping. We West, might, Western we, spirit's been glamping yeah, for a It is time. so cush out there. Like we might not have the white out of Africa Ooh. tents, um, Although we do own those too for special private, um, really um, white linen trips, we call. Inquire within if you're interested in that. But if you were trying to bring someone that wasn't, uh, had never camped, or that's their biggest concern, they're like, I could crush it riding, but but I'm really nervous. You know, um, call us and we'll talk you off the edge. It, it, it'll be the best night's sleep you ever had. Um, we have trips where phones don't work. We have trips where phones do work. So if that's a concern, let us know. We'll, we can we can help you uh, either say that you're unavailable for the week and, and you can tell the boss and that's actually the truth. Um, or if you need to check in with your kids or or work, we can tell you where you have, you know, practically that's, 4G. That's something I like to talk yeah. about a lot also, Mark, yeah. is um, you know, our backcountry trips allow you to, I mean, in this day and age of just constant cell service and your phones, you know, chirping and emails coming in uh, minute after minute. It's a great time to disconnect. Mm -hmm. um, you don't even have the option on, on a lot of our trips. Um, I think it's a great way to see the outdoors, see the back country and, and kind of disconnect. Um, another thing that I'll touch on that's similar to, you know, maybe being hesitant about the camping, mm -hmm. um, you know, say, say you do love camping and, and what you're hesitant about is the riding. Yeah. You know, say say like your best bud wants to come along, but you know, he or she's like, you know, I just I'm worried about being too slow or something. Yeah. Um, our Western Spirit trips, you know, and we have two guides are really contoured towards 
riding at your own pace. We really stress the this is your ride, this is your vacation. We we facilitate that and um, and we just want everybody to have a blast. That's that's kind of what yeah what we're intending um, intending to do. It, it truly is you know shooting for the funnest known time. Um, FTK. Yeah. F FKT. 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 Yeah. Funnest known time. And. Uh, I think I think that's probably just about it, you know. Uh, there, uh, there's a few questions coming in. Most of them, I think, we've already answered. Um, so I, you know, thank you for the folks who have tuned in. Yeah. Um, this has been pretty exciting. We got through yeah, it. Is, uh, yeah, we were one, a little nervous. Is, we're we had to crack the window in here because we were just kind of. We're in here in the office. Maybe maybe we'll have a different location next time. Yeah, yeah. Know. We'll be on location. That would be Very fun. Nice. And you'll get to meet more of our guides. And if you're in Moab here and you're curious, come see us. Um, we can meet you outside here. And um, obviously you can call us, 435-259-8732. Uh, we work kind of banker's hours, uh, Monday through Friday, nine to five mountain time. You can uh, contact us through our website, of course, Viking at Western Spirit. Check out all our other socials. We're actually probably on Instagram more than Facebook, but we like this platform and we'll experiment with uh, with a bunch of different uh, ways to tell our story in this next year. So uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys, and uh, have a great rest of your Thursday. Have a great weekend, and we hope to ride with you uh, this year or in the coming years. Come check us out. Cheers. Cheers.